Use appropriate fixings to fix track mount to stud work. Ensure 67 mm and 38 mm gaps between aluminum track and structural opening to allow installation of trolley assemblies. Neatly cut and remove the metal strip. Use appropriate fixings to fix sole plate to the floor. Top Z section must be on the outside of the lower Z section. Pilot through Z sections where they overlap. Use appropriate fixings to fix metal floor guide to the floor. At an angle of approximately 45 degrees, slide the door partially onto the rear trolley assembly. The gap between the top of the door and underside of the top rail needs to be between 3 mm to 10 mm. Remove and adjust the lock screw to achieve the required gap and reinstall. Ensuring the lock screw is towards the front of the door, push the rear trolley assembly into the rear door bracket as far as it will go and tighten the lock screw to lock the trolley into the door. Pivot the door inwards and slide it into the pocket, ensuring the bottom door channel slides over the floor guide. Position the front trolley with support bolt above the front mortise. Lift the front edge of the door up over the support bolt and into the large hole in the plate. Push the support bolt across to fully engage into the small hole in the plate. Adjust until the door is level. Pull the door firmly down onto the support bolt to secure the door. Ensure door is installed securely and running free without obstruction. Position end stops and fix into required position before installing and tensioning the spring. Cut the track packers to length between the edge of the Z section sheet and the opening side stud work plus 25 mm. Cut the jam to the correct height from the floor to the underside of the track packers plus 14 mm.
use appropriate fixings to fix closing jam to stud work. Once all jams are installed, paint to desired finish. Clad the kit in 12.5 mm of plasterboard. Ensure it butts up level and tight against all jams. Before screwing into place, pilot through the plasterboard and Z section. Ensure no screws protrude into the pocket cavity.